That's right. This is Radio Band Diego here in lovely San Diego. And we are all about music and the artists that make that music. I'd like to thank WS Radio because they are the mighty number one leader top dog. And when it comes down to internet talk radio, we are very fortunate to be on this network. Also, I want to thank all of our sponsors. SIR, you guys have the best gear for rental. And Pitbull Audio, where you can get your gear. If you if you don't want to rent it, you can own it from Pitbull Audio. They just want you to play it loud at pitbullaudio.com. A couple of things I wanted to announce. Uh, there is going to be a big foundation uh, or Chromes and Colitis Foundation concert happening on the 16th at T.O. Leo's with Bumpin' Brass, my band, Curbside Vinyl, as well as the Joe Luna Band, where it's all about the funk. We're going to keep the funk out of colitis and uh, Crohn's disease. And of course, uh, I just wanted to have everybody give a, a, you know their hearts and, and minds out to the people in uh, Nepal right now that have gone through a very major disaster. And then, of course, we've got some guests here from Cancer Stock that that's always a good cause, saving, going out and saving lives when it comes down to the, the kids that, are, that are, are suffering from cancer, as well as the adults. But from this point forward, we've got music. In fact, I've got my co-host. She's not a co-host today. She's actually a guest. <laughs> Casey Lynn Hensley, who is an amazing talent, and she has her band of incredible, incredible artists. I'm going to stop talking and let them play. They're going to go through a few songs for mm-hmm. us and then talk to us later.
Actually, I'll just put him on blast, because why not? I wrote it about my boyfriend, the drummer, back here, because I love him. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so now you know the backstory. And you can go, aw. Oh. How cute. All right, all right. Be ready, guys? All right, let's do it. Never needed 
This is right. This is Radio Ban Diego, powered by the mighty WS Radio Network. Brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rental and SIR. Uh, well, SIR Music Equipment Rental and Pitbull. I'm getting tongue tied here. <laughs> and oh, this is an amazing day because we have our co host, Casey Lee Hensley. Lynn. Yes, yes, that's Lynn. Lee? Casey there's Lynn. A, there's a Lee running around here, so <laughs> that's why. Like Loretta Lynn. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> essentially, this is uh, this is an awesome day because I'm such a big fan of your band. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, first off, I'd like to give some thanks out to uh, Bargain Hunters because they provided part of our set today. As and it well. looks incredible. Yeah, and Ming's Up Upholstery? Up Upholstery. Or upholstery. Upholstery. Yeah. upholstery. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm out of. We're, we're we have excitement over here. There's always pandemonium going on. So we were finishing up a song while we were in the commercial break. Uh, you guys will be able to hear it when we go on to the on-demand portion. But uh, you know what? This is about Casey and the band and all the folks here. So let's start off that uh, that gentleman that's sitting to your mm -hmm. right there. Let's kind of uh, give a shout out to him because he is also part of the the Ban Diego crew. He he's usually running production so i'm having to wear the two hats today so i got that hat and this hat on <laughs> yeah man hello hello thanks thanks for having us yeah yeah it's it's a awesome time man you guys you guys rocked it, it sounded amazing in here it sounded amazing in there you guys killed it uh inaugurated the set so that's kind of cool thank you so let's introduce everybody all right you guys want to go i'm jimmy zola i play guitar i'm mark campbell i play bass and uh, Evan Yearsley, I play drums. <laughs> and works on Radio Bay Diego as and, well. And <laughs> sound guys were near. And you know, Mark, uh, you don't have to worry. The mics don't bite all the time. Actually, though, we might have a uh, almost famous moment where you grab the mic and kind of get electrocuted. Sure. Oh, that's like <laughs> my biggest right fear. That. Yeah, that, well, I don't think that happens as much anymore. So, you know. Um, that's good. <laughs> there we go. There, Evan's gone. He's gone. So, Casey, you know, you usually ask the questions with me here. I know. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm getting into your head, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's start off, you know, you've been doing music for a long time. You're, 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 still, you're still a young girl, baby. Ooh, I know, I do some little power, power, power. But uh, you've had a long career in the business. Tell us yeah. a little bit about when you got started and how that all worked out for you. Well, uh, let's see. The first time I was on stage, I was five. And uh, I started recording in a studio when I was eight. And uh, my parents actually figured out that I was a good singer, I guess you would say, when we would uh, be in the grocery store and I would be singing and people would come in the aisles and say, your daughter was singing that? Oh, my goodness. And I'd be sitting, you know, in the cart like little kids do, begging for cookies, singing about <laughs> cookies. And, yeah. And the then, cookie uh, monster. There you go. Yeah, that's me. I'm the cookie is that, monster. Is that how Evan got your attention? He gave you some cookies? <laughs> uh, sh we, you could say that, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and uh, the then I was working in L.A., and uh, I was recording with a great producer named Andrew Lane. He won a Billboard Producer of the Year a couple times, and he really helped mold me into the awesome. singer that I am. I've seen a few of those, uh, the, the original <laughs> videos. A little bit more... A little, little more pop soul yeah. kind of thing, which you still have a lot of soul in your, what you're doing. But, right. you know, with, with the boys there, they bring out the blues, too. They got the, oh, absolutely. the sound. It, the guitar and the bass is just amazing. The drums, you, you made the drums sound really good, man. <laughs> oh, we might have to have you bring your drums in every time now, Evan. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> we make it work. You know, we make it work. We got a great team behind us, and the band's a lot of fun and really great guys. And thank you, guys. You guys rock. And, uh, yeah, what's up, San Diego? How's it going, man? <laughs> you may get Shout out. You may get calls in. Who knows? So <laughs> you, you got started. You were young. You were singing in the grocery stores. You got your break there. <laughs> uh, you, worked with, with, you, you, you worked with Andrew. Um, you did a little bit of acting as well, right? 
Yeah, I was actually, I mean, not technically, but I call myself, a, I was a Disney kid. Yeah. I worked on a lot of Disney movies and I was doing it and shows and I was doing it when I was, you know, 10, 11, 12, um, with all the, you know, stage moms and the auditions and stuff. And it was, wow. it was an experience. I, uh, I took a step back from acting because it, uh, you know, it takes, it kind of takes a little bit of a toll on your self-esteem yeah, when I, you're young. And You wouldn't have thunk with all the different uh, kid actors and all the good quality of life they're leading. No, I'm just <laughs> You know, actually, I, I, I get that. It's, it's, a, it's a challenge. That machinery is such a, a piece of work, to say the least. But, yeah. you know, hey, all, you know, right now, all of our pop stars are former Disney folks, it seems like. Right. You know? Yeah, it's, it's just the, the, um, the, ch the choicing of uh, image and stuff when you're a young girl growing up. You're like, yeah. what's wrong with my freckles? What's wrong with my hair? <laughs> yeah, they... they, they they want to put you into a mold. They so do. give give us you don't have to give us a name, but out of all the Disney divas or divos, whatever you want to call the guys or girls, um, you know, give us a story. You don't have to give us a name, but tell us like one of those crazy Ooh. experiences all that right. you like. Well, um, and then, I give was, the, then give us the name after this. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no names. Other. But no, I was uh, I was singing actually. Um, like a showcase when I was younger in Los Angeles and uh, another girl that was on a television show was singing as well. And uh, I don't remember if I won the competition or people re were really into it. Anyways, the mother came up to me afterwards and uh, just said, who do you think you are? You think you're something special? And I was kind of taken back by that. I was young. I was like 10 years old. Mm. And I was like, oh, no. I thought I was, you know, <laughs> maybe my mom said I'm special. Yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty intense. The stage moms don't mess around. Oh, I, I, I can see that. <laughs> well, when they see you up, big lights and everything, because you guys are, well, Radio Band Diego is all about emerging bands, and I would definitely put you you folks in that category of that band that's on the cusp to get to that next level now on a national, international level. So, you know, when they see that, that's going to be a, a key thing. So you. you did some other stuff. You know, we, you know, like you said, we, you just, I've seen some videos with you doing some Neil Soul stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This sound, I think, fits your voice Absolutely. the right way. How did you get the crew together? Because this is, this, you know, this is not easy in San Diego to, <clears throat> to find the talent that you have in the band. And and then to, to really kind of define a sound because that's that's the toughest thing for bands to really do is to right. they're always trying to find what's working in the market and not necessarily looking at what's internally for them. Right. Well, um, I've known Evan since I was, what, like 16? And then uh, we started dating when I was 22. And uh, we started dating and we started playing. Um, I would play a lot of blues jams and, you know, I got introduced to all these amazing musicians and that's how I met Mark, our bass player. Um, I sat in with Joe Wood. He was a singer from TSOL. Oh, okay. And uh, Mark just blew me away. And then I actually met Jimmy, our guitar player, when I was about 18 playing at the uh, San Diego's best party. And I was like, who is this guy? I, you know, I was like 18. I didn't know anybody. And I was like, I wish I could play with him. And then he came back around at the blues jams. And that's when I said, I need to get him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's that. That's awesome. So, Jimmy, <laughs> I got to ask you about your gear, brother. You got some awesome gear, like the Gibson mic, you know, I mean, the Gibson uh, amp. I'm looking at the mic saying, Mike, but and the amp is that, you know, how did you define your sound? Because it is definitely, you know, a, a, you know, a, a Jimmy sound. I can I can say that I've always been like what they call a tone farmer. Like I always search for the tone, you know, the the better amps, the tools that can really bring out what you're trying to say. I mean, obviously it's in the hands, but having the best tools to interpret that sound and I have to give credit to a a man as a great friend of mine his name's Carl Cabbage. He's a world-renowned harmonica player. And one day he called me and he says, hey, you got to check out these amps. And uh, I'm not going to say exactly which one it is, but it's a Gibson amp. <laughs> and I was like, really? He's like, yeah, check it out. It'll change your life. <laughs> and so I did. I went and got one. And uh, I then acquired some kind of, I don't know, some kind of disease where it's like, uh, now I have 10. <laughs> <laughs> So don't uh, tell don't tell my producer uh, Paul that because on he, the verge of going <laughs> bankrupt, but uh, kind of cornering the market on these things. And uh, you know, obviously, I I love uh, Gibson. It's my 
my guitars are Gibson and the best amps I play through are Gibson. But on another note, I'd like to tell you a, sh a short story about Casey. Since oh, please do. This is about the band. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> the gig that she's talking about um, was a concert that I was hired on by a very good friend, Chill Boy, to play gu second guitar for him. And I had no idea what was going to happen that night, except we were just going to play some of the songs that we usually play. And then uh, I see this girl on stage, and her parents had brought her there. And I'm like, oh, this will be different. You know, we'll have a singer, too, a backup singer. Well, I didn't know what I was <laughs> getting into. <laughs> but uh, she came out and sang so amazingly. I would say after that night, and I had never seen her again until years later, but I would say after that night to anybody who I would talk to about when they'd ask me about music and what I would play, and I said I had the most amazing musical experience one night um, playing this concert with these great musicians and this young girl singer, and I didn't know her name at the time. Oh, I never heard that <laughs> yeah, story so, before. And that's how Radio Band kind of like, right? kind of like fate to where like Evan and I had been working together in bands and. Uh, she's there one night. I'm like, I know you. And then, <laughs> know you know, you. <laughs> the rest is going to be history, right? That's awesome. That's how Radio Band Diego works. We really kind of want to get in touch with the hearts and minds of the musicians and share that with the people because that's really, you know, it's about the music, but it's about where the music comes from and how that, uh, you know, yeah. it comes about. And I think that's awesome. We've got about 15 seconds left for this segment. Evan, you got something to say. I, I just wanted to give a shout out. We got uh, Doc James in the house from uh, Cancer Stock, yes. the uh, founder yeah. and yes. the man behind the whole uh, vision and idea. And uh, so thank you, Doc, for coming in. Yes, yes. thank it's you. It's always we great you, to Doc. see Doc. We love Doc. Yeah, an amazing musician as well. Let's give it a nice radio clap, round of applause for Doc. There we go. This has been Radio Band Diego, second segment, and we are powered by the mighty WS Radio. And I've got my co-host as well as my guest here, Casey Hensley. Say hello, Casey. Hello, Casey. <laughs> and we'll be right back in a few short minutes. Thank you, SIR, Music Equipment Rental, and Pitbull Audio at pitbullaudio.com. You guys rock. And, of course, our fun friends over at Bargain Hunters and uh, Ming's Upholstery. That's right. This is Radio Band, Diego, and uh, your band's revealed. We're revealing our band, our, our in-house band, pretty much. So, right, Casey? <laughs> this is, uh, yep. uh, you know, a great show for us. We've got a new set, a courtesy of Tracy and Lee, the, the dynamic duo. You know, they, they made it happen for us. We also, uh, you know, we always give thanks to all the people that have helped out. So that was the... Uh, Ming's Upholstery, and what was the other one, Tracy? I just lost the card. Yeah, the Bargain Hunters Bargain Poway Road. Yeah, Poway. Bargain Hunters on Poway Road. So we got this incredible new uh, um, Afghan or whatever you call it, the, uh, you know, Arabian Nights carpet. I'm, I'm waiting for it to get up and fly away, guys, <laughs> but we, we tacked it down. Anyway, uh, you know, this, is, this has been a, uh, you know, a great day, and you guys have, you know, a... Uh, uh, you played an incredible set, and uh, you know I know that uh, you know we're gonna. I'm gonna be listening to that again and again. I, I totally, I'm stealing your music, guys. I'm totally not gonna pay for it. That's bad. No, you guys gotta go out and, and buy Thank the music, you. support the bands. So Pandora, oh, oh, yeah, exactly Pandora. <laughs> Talk about stealing music, right? Uh, anyway. um, so, what's next? Where you? What do you guys have planned for the group? Because you guys are on the, on the cops. I mean, what, what do you? What do you have next? Well, I think this the sky is kind of limit. Um, we're recording our album right now, hoping to have it out as soon as possible. Okay. There's no specific date, but the sooner the better. Nice. Um, we're gonna do in June a short tour up to Santa Cruz and back. Okay. Um, we're playing Gator by the Bay actually this upcoming week, May 9th. Watch out for the Lost Boys up in Santa super Cruz. Super excited about. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, yeah, hopefully, great. hopefully touring everywhere possible. Yeah, that's yeah. the goal. I mean. Where's the next uh, Gator by the Bay is coming up? Mm -hmm. Do you have guys have any other shows coming up around town? Let's get a shout out to some of these clubs. We are doing uh, the Aztec Bacon and Brew Fest, and that's oh, on the thirtieth at the end of the month, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun from three to six. Bacon and beer and blues. And if you haven't been to Aztec, uh, it's a great brewery over in San Marcos. Awesome, Lots of awesome. great beer. Shout out to them and uh, Scotty Clayton and On Point Productions. Okay. For uh, helping book a lot of bands all over San Diego and um, yeah that's going to be a lot of fun and then look for us at the Del Mar Fair coming up we're, right. we're playing a belly up stage I'm mm -hmm. um, going to have to check the date on that one but that's coming up 
Um, and then uh, we're doing a little Santa Cruz run at the Pocket up in Santa Cruz. What's up, Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz. And uh, <laughs> we're going to be playing up there in the Fog Bank, the Pocket, and then coming home and playing Viva Cantina on Sunday. Okay. So it's gonna, that's going to be a nice little road trip. And uh, yeah, so we got that. We've been doing the Casbah. And uh, thank you, Tim Piles and uh, Tim Mays for having us over. And you know, getting a lot of great response. We can't thank everybody enough for coming out. That, that's awesome. A lot of good shows coming up, and I know there'll be more. You guys just, because you guys are somewhat of a new group, right? Mm, yeah, like four months old, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Little baby group. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's come along so fast, you know. You guys killed it, and you were like one of the faves over at Cancer Stock, and that was awesome. Thank that you. That was a big festival out there. It was a great festival. Yeah, it was a great day. With Doc, where'd Doc go? Doc, Doc uh, he's chilling, as he, as he does. Doc's you. hanging out. He's chilling. <laughs> so you've got these things. So, you know, here's, here's the question, because we all face this stuff. What has been the challenges that you guys have faced in the music scene here uh, in San Diego? Because we're, we're really trying to, to, to generate it. But what, what kind of things can be done to, to help improve this music scene? What do you guys think? Hmm. You want to take that first? I would just say, you know, go see shows. Go out and support your local community. Um, and, you know, San Diego is a vast community. And, the, I, th you know, the music scene is very tight-knit, even though we are spread out all throughout the county. Um, and it is it does make it hard somewhat, if you live in North County, to get down to South County and East County, yeah, out yeah. to, you know, the beach and everything. But that's about it you know go out support you know your local favorite band support blues because we don't want it to go the way of the eight track <laughs> and uh so you can still listen to it on eight track don't have it go yeah. like that. join <laughs> join your local you know blues society uh blues b-l-u-s-d is a great uh blues society here in san diego there's a san diego blues society and you know you can plan your vacations Basically, when you go to a new town, check out the Blues Society because they yeah, always yeah. got really cool stuff going on. And uh, join the Blues Foundation in Memphis and and uh, support young, thriving new artists that are coming up, like you guys are doing. Thank you so much for having us. Well, and having hey, and thank you for coming out here. And I also want to give a shout out to uh, um, Louis King, who's yeah, in yes. hospice right now. So, yeah, he's had, he's lived a long, powerful life, and I think it's you know it's you know. It's tough to hear, but you know, he's got a legacy that's gonna be living on for quite some time. Absolutely. So speaking of that, what who are your influences? Let's start with Mark. Mark, we're gonna get you on the mic, man. You're 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 the quite <laughs> hey. you gotta represent the bass players, man, brother. Yeah, bass players never have much to say. <laughs> you're the bass player, though, I can't <laughs> well there's the exception. Yeah. So who are your influences, brother? Well, I was fortunate to uh, grow up in a house full of musicians. Both of my brothers have been professional musicians since before I was born. So there was a, a hundred different musicians a week practicing in my living room while I was growing up. So it was just kind of, that was really my main influence of you know, what I love about music is just meeting all those guys and listening to the, all the of, random stuff. What was the music that was being played in your house at that time? Depended on the band. Anything from jazz to classical to punk rock to blues to, you know, everything. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So Jimmy, got to get you. Got to get your take on who, who's who's influenced you. Well, I got to say, my mom is the biggest influence, you know, musically for me because she's an artist, and she encouraged me, you know, like a mom would a thousand percent. When I started showing interest in music at a very early age, she took me to my first concerts. Um, you know, uh, she never, uh, she always encouraged me to just pursue whatever I, the voice I wanted to, to get on my guitar, you know, and she would, I call her the oracle because uh, <laughs> when she tells you something, um, sometimes you don't want to hear it. But you know it's the truth, you know, <laughs> and that's your mom, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I have obvious blues influences, but you did mention BB King, and I had the great fortune of actually meeting BB last time he was in town at Humphreys. Nice. Um, a friend of mine, Lance Dykeman, is a great harmonica player, also um, had me as a guest, and we were backstage, and everybody keeps everybody away from BB. Um, but somehow I got within 10 feet of him, and uh, 
he for some reason just looked up at me and started talking and I felt like I was talking to like a living kind of mythical god or something you know <laughs> for yeah. the kind of uh, history and what he represents to me as a musician yeah, the know, people, so. they've, they've influenced you know yeah a lot of the great great rock guitar players like you know, namesake like yours Jimmy Page you know um, Clapton and all these guys everybody, everybody. Yeah, everybody. I mean he he was he came from the fields and went to Chicago and he brought electricity to that thing too you know and yeah. so it's like so much depth behind him but yeah it was awesome yeah and I think you've been, you got a family that's kind of influenced you a little bit, right, sir? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, my mom, Candy Kane, uh, gave me the greatest opportunity uh, to play with her and cut my musical teeth on her stage. And, and growing up with her and uh, my dad, Thomas Yearsley of the Paladins, um, mm -hmm. upright bass player, and uh, Watching them, growing up with them, and all the the music uh, around, it, it's been a, an amazing, amazing journey. And uh, yeah, uh, growing up, you know, going to Pawlecki Central and Encinitas in third grade, and uh, stepping over the beet farmers sleeping on the floor, <laughs> and going to get cereal and turn on uh, some Bugs Bunny and uh, eat some, you know, whatever cereal we were eating, but while, well, you know, country dick snoring logs right there. Um, <laughs> Those amazing talents throughout the years. Yeah, yeah, growing up with them, and uh, my mom took, the first band uh, we ever went to was, uh, she took me to see X, oh, and yeah. uh, she's good friends with them, and lots of LA, I'm wearing my X shirt today. What's yeah, up, yeah. what up DJ, bone break? <laughs> <laughs> He's the drummer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's been really amazing. Um, the blues has been, you know, the most amazing vehicle, and uh, I can't thank my parents enough for inspiring us and inspiring me and my brother, and and playing amazing music all over the world. You know, American music. Yeah, awesome, homegrown. So Casey, uh, definitely last but not least. You know, well, you're all kind of equal in everything what you do. We got about a minute and thirty seconds left. Watch a minute and twenty seconds left. Inspirations and last words for the audience before you go rock it up again. Okay, my inspirations go from everything to Ruth Brown, Etta James, Aretha Franklin, Robert Plant, um, Amy Winehouse, the list goes on and on. Yeah. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for listening. Um, keep supporting local music. Support Radio Ban Diego. It's a great, <laughs> it's a hey. great station. You guys are awesome. Everything, well, we are doing is great, and I really believe in it. And support kind of hard, it. Hard wearing those two hats, right? right now. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of funky, but uh, <laughs> and uh, come out to one of the shows and check out CaseyHensleyMusic.com. And yeah. uh, thank you again to Doc for coming, and thank you for having me talk about my band. And uh, I'll well, see you next Sunday. Yeah, we'll be here next Sunday. <laughs> well, there'll be more to come. You guys are. You guys are an amazing group, and we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, shout out real quick. Who who you want to kind of give some shout outs? Who's listening? Hi, Mom. Hi, uh, Auntie Kim. Um, sister, maybe? Hi. <laughs> uh, say what's up to my mom and uh, my dad. And, yeah, Hoven Sunglasses. We're, we're trying to work with them, so what's up, guys? <laughs> and, Plug. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, Mark, quick, you got two seconds. Go ahead, throw it in. Hey, I just want to say hi to my brother Drew and the Six String Outlaws who will be here probably pretty soon, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who you are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this has been Radio Band Diego. we got another segment, but it's all music, that segment. Uh, my name is Florentino. I'm here with my co-host Casey Hensley, as well as my guest. We are powered by the mighty WS Radio Network. Uh, SIR, PeopleAudio.com. You guys rock. Thank you for sponsoring us and supporting us. We'll be right back. That's right. This is Radio Band Diego, fourth segment. And we just rocked it up, our first segment with Casey. And she's going to be coming back right now with her great group doing some funky, soulful blues for you. Uh, we are powered by the mighty WS Radio Network, brought to you by SAR Music Equipment Rental and Pitbull Audio at pitbullaudio.com. Uh, and also, thanks again, folks, for uh, putting this out there for us with the new rug here at, uh, again, Tracy, what's the name of that one? Party Hunter. 
bargain hunters and um, um, Ming's upholstery. So that is, that's awesome. Uh, don't forget, we've got the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation concert happening on the 16th of May of this month. That's a Saturday over at Tio Leo's. And then uh, Cancer Stock. Keep supporting Cancer Stock. Doc, wherever you are in this room or in this, house, in this place, we appreciate you. Casey, take it away. All right. This song is called Searching for a Man. I've been searching for a man Someone to teach me what he can I've been searching for oh, me. My heart's been empty.
Satan! 